Hello everyone, Mark Major here at the Action Figure Atorium, and about once a month I like to hit up the dollar store that is near the studio and just see what they got. Of course, you can always find things there for um, if you're the kind of person who likes to do toy customizations. They've got paints and brushes. You can also find some interesting set pieces if you're doing t like toy photography or dioramas and of course you can always find at the dollar store dollar toys uh, such as the last episode I showed you this dog and how it was most likely a clone from this Marvel the Storm. So today I have another roundup of things that I found just little pieces to clue you in on what's out there that you yourself can go out and pick up and, uh, and enjoy as well. So stick around, folks. Okay, so I've moved over to the bench here so we can uh, do a little bit of show and tell. First thing I'm going to go through with you guys, that's right, is... Um, I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about the uh, craft type material I picked up this time. It happened to be a bunch of different glues. Of course, you can always find your Mod Podge there. This is kind of like a white Elmer's wood glue that you would you know probably use as a kid in school. This is great for doing flocking and um, also. With action figures, sometimes you've got to glue th things in hands to get them to stay. If you're doing photography, if you're doing, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, posing, you might have to glue a hat on every once in a while. And this sort of tacky, you know, white glue is great for that. Um, of course, I picked up some uh, some cement glue there for buck twenty-five. You know, that kind of thing. That's always good if you're doing kind of plastic models, that sort of thing. And then also for those of you in the know probably know that when it comes to super glues, right, that once you open the pack, um, you don't get many days afterwards to use it. You can use it the next day or the day after that, but eventually it goes bad pretty fast. And so what you do is you get these little guys in the individual packs, you get everything together you want to glue, and you go through one of these, and boom, you're done. I picked up two of them. Picked up two, and also, funny enough, they give you, um, they give you enough little... Uh, screw on, uh, you know, spouts for each one. They could have just given you one per pack, but they assume you're going to use all, uh, all four packs at once. So that is for the glues that I found. Previous episode, I found some paints, some acrylic paints. Didn't need to re up on those. Okay, so now we're going to go to um, uh, some like set pieces. So these things, you're probably going to laugh at me. You're going to say, oh, I can't believe you spent money on that, but check it out. Um, buck 25 bag of little sticks that have all been sawed so they look like they look like logs and they can be used like logs now some of you are saying um, that I uh, paid for something that you could just go out and get and make yourself that's true but time is money is your time uh, per hour worth a dollar 25 so you could not go out and collect these with your own own time for uh, for cheaper than what you can get them. And also along those lines, I picked up, although I transferred it to a new container, I picked up a, the bag of little rocks you can get there for buck twenty-five. Again, people have mocked me for that, but um, it's worth it just to not to go have to pick them up yourself. This is kind of interesting. This is a uh, bag of five little faux leather pumpkins, right? Faux leather pumpkin. I thought that these might be kind of something that you could sort of scatter on a hillside or, you know, maybe use like a Halloween, autumn, fall shots. Good good thing to have for buck 25. Along the same lines, and they had a bunch of different variety, but if you're going to do anything with like characters on the beach or if you want to do some kind of underwater shot or scene, you're going to need some sort of uh, aquatic things to throw in and this is like an assorted bag of different seashells and there's uh, all different types and sizes and they're pretty cool there was ones that was just sort of the uh, the generic half shell the sort of you know the clam shell um, but I went for the multi-pack and uh, I would say that gets a recommend again you could not go to a beach and pick these up for a buck 25 it is not worth your time 
So one last thing before we move to the final part of the roundup, and that is uh, that is this. This is like a little sort of um, like a pop-out menu board. Chalkboard actually comes with a uh, see the chalk in there. Now previous episode they had one at the dollar store that was an A-frame that stands up like this, something you would see outside of a restaurant, and I said get yourself like a 1-6 Barbie type with a chef's outfit or maybe they're dressed like a bistro and then you can write funny memes on your uh, you know on your A-frame and this is just a variety of that this is just gives you a different one of these to put out it's a wide rather than an up and down something different it's about the same kind of quality and material etc but I'm always looking for different options to have floating around and for buck 25 not bad okay we're gonna keep going folks we're at the final stretch of the show uh, these are the toys now this one to me isn't exactly I would say a toy but it is plastic it's a little tabletop recycling garbage can right it's got the recycling thing on although it's in my state they're uh, well, I don't know. They're not always green. Sometimes they're blue. But um, red's a little bit unusual. Red, would, to me, would indicate hazardous waste. This is like a little desktop garbage can, but it looks like a real garbage can. And, you know, it's for reference, let's get our Barbie out. And so, yeah, there she is standing by the trash. And um, so this might be a cool piece to have. You know, you can just always stick a character in there and another character helping them out. Makes for easy shots. Now, here's a couple pieces that we're going to close with. I don't know if you guys um, can really see this. They're still in the pack. So this, this thing is a uh, umbrella for like a table. And um, I didn't actually see the little table set there, but maybe it'll show up or maybe I'll find one. But this is good enough because you could stick it in the sand. And then this, uh, this is a, um, uh, a little beach chair, right, and um, and a little table that goes next to it. I don't think the table has a hole for the umbrella. That would be nice. Anyways, I was thinking that you could put a Barbie-sized figure in the beach chair next to the table with some drinks on it, and then, of course, stick this, which complements it nicely in sort of the sand, and uh, if you need a longer stem you could easily make one or you can add on to this is just not a uh, not that difficult a piece of plastic to recreate anyways this comes to me as kind of a set piece now that you could sort of make work so um let's go back over to uh to our host cam so that is this episode of rounding up the things that I found at the dollar store. Again, you can always find craft stuff there. There's always like paints and the paints aren't great, the acrylic paints. But if it's something like you're going to use it like as a wash, you can buy the black, you can mix it with your own water and that way you can waste it all day long. Washes are, um, are wasted material and so it's fun to get in stuff like that and you can do a white wash if you want. They've got enough cheap paints you could do washes all day long with it. Um, of course glues, a lot of brushes there. Um, again in the toy aisle they have some real cheap dumb figures that can be used as background fodder guys. Um, I see all sorts of interesting uh, interesting sort of low bit lo-fi crap there that can be used as background extras and um, and of course all the like the cool little set pieces like logs and rocks all that stuff worth checking out and set yourself a budget of ten dollars and just see what uh, see what you can get anyways I'll catch you guys on this next one